guys, how's everybody? I hope you're all doing well. Hope everybody had a great week. Uh, be the weekend probably before you see this. Uh, hopefully you've already seen the little port work video I done and uh, the first start up of the saw. Um, as you can see, I did go back and repaint the plastic. Uh, the name of that color is Strawberry Field. And then the rest of the saw is light Ford Gray. Um, it's a little lighter than the red that would have come on that, but whatever, it'll be just fine. Um, I really like it. Um, sadly enough, first cut I made the saw, the diaphragm went in the carburetor. Uh, I should have just rebuilt it while I had it off last night, but it did give me the opportunity to make a how to rebuild the carburetor on an 066, 660, whatever. Um, so we done that, so you might see that video before this, might see it after. Um, but this thing runs really, really good, and we all know it'll only get stronger as the rings seed in it. Um, I don't know how it compares, say, to one of the 660s I've got done. I've got two built two different ways. Um, one of them has quite a bit of machine work, and then the other has a pop-up piston in it, and uh, both of them have a lot of transfer work. Uh, this one has hardly any port work. We've mainly done what I call a simple woods port. Um, the port timing on it was good enough once Squish was dialed in, and if you missed it, the final numbers on this was... 22 thousand squish, um, 98 on the roof, 121 on the uppers, and 79 on the intake. And this saw starts back time after time after time on the first pull. It sets an idle's great. I've got it a little rich right now, but um, once we get the ring seat and it gets a little richer, we'll readjust the cord. But um, some of those rounds were crooked when I'd initially cut them. Um, some of them were too long, say, that I, they were longer than I would want to put in my wood stove. So we cut a couple cookies off the end of them, shorten them up and true them up a little bit to make them easier to split. But that chain ain't nothing special. Um, I do have my own grind on it. It is a Husqvarna X cut, but it is the semi-chisel safety chain version like you buy at Lowe's. 24 inch, 84 driver, 50 gauge. Um, that's my Samira lightweight bore, um, and I'd shown it in the video last night too as far as a muffler mod right now. All it has is the single outlet in the back, and I opened it up a little bit, and I drilled a hole in the front of the baffle and the muffler. Um, putting a dual port on the front of it would probably wake it up even a little more, um, but it's not real god-awful loud. It runs plenty good enough. Um, you're able to bury it in that rock hard hickory and I'm honestly pulling on it pretty good. Could I stall it if I wanted to? Um, probably I can about stall any of them, but um, you know, using common sense and pulling on it, you're probably not going to stall it. Um, in pulp wood, this thing with a really good chain, this thing would be really, really fast, I think. Um, Numbers don't lie. I knew exactly how the characteristics of the saw were going to be um, when running it. You know, this is a 14,000, 142 saw all day long with a good clean four stroke. Um, you know, you got right out of 160 on the intake, got plenty of transfer duration. Um, I mentioned that in the last video on it, and you know, we got the 98 roof, which you know helps to get the exhaust out. Um, but it's been fun. Um, I've kind of took my time. It took quite a while to do it, honestly. Um, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Um, seems to be a pretty good work saw so far. But as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing. Um, the thumbs up really helps. Um, hell, it don't even cost you nothing to do it, but it helps the channel out a lot. Um, Anyway, y'all have a great day.